Christmas, the family in Algiers is planning a seven year old girl's funeral. Dylan Burton was shot and killed last night while sitting in the back seat of her mom's car and police still need your help finding her killer as neighbors are angry and they're worried for their own lives. WDSU's Harrison Golden live in Algiers. You spoke with one of the relatives, Harrison. Yeah, well, Gina, late this afternoon, we spoke with Dylan Burton's mother. She says a student loved to dance and simply put, she was the light of her life. We need to find something to do to stop it. It's really safe. At around 8 p.m. Sunday night, folks near General de Gaulle in Algiers thought they heard fireworks. Not until police arrived did they realize they were gunshots that hit seven-year-old Dylan Burton from her mother's back seat. An innocent victim, the seven-year-old, what did the seven-year-old could have possibly have done to be uh, a victim of such a, 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 a heinous crime as this? So. She didn't do him nothing. She just began her life. Neighbors we spoke with didn't want their faces or names on camera. They fear retaliation in a city that saw multiple homicides over Christmas weekend. It's sad. Children can't play around here no more. Not just here, it's all over now. And it caps off a violent year. The Metropolitan Crime Commission's latest tally out Monday counts 217 homicides in the city so far in 2021. That's up 14% from last year and 84% from 2019. Statistician Jeff Asher says New Orleans could see more homicides this year than in any year since Hurricane Katrina. It's high by any standard. It's much higher than it was a few years ago. And while Asher hopes counting the city's homicides will underscore how severe the violence is, the goal is a better city. He admits numbers pale in comparison to lives he calls immeasurable. Each murder is, is a life lost as a, is a, you know, a resident and a, a New Orleanian who, um, who was needlessly killed. Now, late this afternoon, Mayor Cantrell and Superintendent Sean Ferguson released this following statement here, a joint statement about Dylan Burton's death. Quote, we stand in shock over the violence that claimed a life of a seven-year-old child the day after Christmas. It is unbearably tragic. As a city, as a community, we reject this. How often have we said one is too many? This one alone is too much. This child deserved better of us. Meanwhile, the family of seven year old Dylan Burton tells me they are planning a balloon release in her honor in the coming days. But if you have any information on this or any of the other homicides from over this weekend, call the Crime Stoppers tip line that number 504 822 1111. One more time for you 504 822 1111. For now, we are live in Algiers, Harrison Golden, WDSU News.